Today's video will be about the waste of time. It's a new waste <laughs> and it's all to do with this little guy here. So if you haven't collected Baal yet, which is the new secret pet in Battle for Azeroth, you can check out my earlier guide. But this particular video will involve interacting with a number of clues around the world. So the first clue is actually in the spires of Iraq. This is where I am on the map, right where one of the dungeons is. Something is written here, passive ice veins. The next one is actually around Stormwind City. That's where I am on the map. When you zoom in, I'm right in the mountains over here. It's right by the portal here. And here's the seed, strange seed. Sadness keynoted. In the spires of Iraq again, in the Skettis area. That's where I am on the map right up north and the clue you need is on top of this rock this little frog dogwig moss the next one is back on the vortex summit back in the blades edge mountains of outlands that's where i am on the map and you have to interact with this tiny little bone, brittle bone. Rage Shank Sever. The next one is back in the Spies of Iraq. That's where I am on the map at Sethic Hollow. And you're interacting with this misplaced candle, this tiny candle in front of the larger one. Rankish goldfish. The next one is just over the mountain in Shadow Moon Valley. I'm currently standing in Exile's Rise, which has a handy little flight path if you prefer to do it that way. But this time you're interacting with this odd cup right by the campfire. <laughs> Ease of fruit. The next clue is found in back in Outlands, Shadow Moon Valley, right in the middle at the top of the peak where it says the hand of Goldan. So when you zoom in, there's a little interesting rock. Let's see what it has to say. The big bull. Okay. All right. Well, off to the next one. The next clue is back in the Swamp of Sorrows. You can see I'm kind of in the middle north of the map here. And right under this tree is a blossoming mm. lily. Jaws open nooks. All right. So the next spot is back in the Eastern Plaguelands. You can see I'm at the bottom of the map. The um, place is actually called the Undercroft. So down on the bottom level of the crypt, there is this little pretty flower. Dead rune thog. So the next clue is actually back in Deadwind Pass. If you're familiar with the pet trainer, it's actually right next to her. There's a, a little chapel out behind Kara. So all you have to do is come inside. Left side of the pews, this little old book here. A strange deception. 
So now I'm in the Blackrock Spire. I've just flown myself directly onto this balcony. So these were the old entrances to Upper Blackrock and Lower Blackrock Spire. So all you have to do, since they've taken the original portal away, just come down here, run down this ramp, and that's actually the portal to Lower Blackrock. So just run into this room and this little fish by the campfire. Dead fish, what you have to say. Necropolis Expos. So at 5262 in Duskwood, that's where I am on the map, there's a little scratched board underneath this huge plank. The net saves. The next clue is back in the Hillsbrid foothills. I'm in the ruins of Alterac. And coming into this watchtower building. The item is right here at the legs of the skeleton. Lost ring. Terrible grunt. So the next item is in the Badlands where the fuse, fuse light by the sea is. If you turn around you come into the building on the other side of this pig, there's a spoiled apple. Leave nets often. The next clue is back in the blasted lands where the altar of storms is. And the item is the broken tooth right in front of this skull's head to the right. Brash remains. The next clue is actually at the base of the ramp leading into Blackrock Mountain. Currently on the Burning Step side, as you can see, pretty close to the pet train actually. So the item you're looking for here is the worn helm. You can see it, it's on the head of the skeleton. Sense the figs. Great, now I feel like some figs. The next clue is back in the northern version of Dalaran. So when you come to this area, it's behind this statue. Come around here to the bench and you'll see this little leafy leaf on the ground in front of these planters. Phantasmal Hosts. So the next clue is back in Outlands again, Terracar Forest, down in the Ochendoon. So you're going to want to come through to the Shadow Labs, which you can tell by looking at the two banners at the entrance. Come through the door and then under this tent on the left you'll see a musty cloth inside this crate. Scarce odds still. The next stop is in the Twilight Highlands, pretty much right at the entrance of Grim Batol on the west side of the map. And the item is this broken tablet in front of this fence. Starfish droplets. So the next one is back in Feralis at the bottom of the map, close to the ruins of. What is that? Isaladin. Anyway, it's an area um, surrounded by ogres. Check out the two ogres to my left with the two cauldrons. And to my right, you'll see this ashed torch. A daft tormentor's fog. 
Alrighty then. There will be four items you will need to buy, and one of them can be bought from the Aspen Grove Trader in Grizzly Hills of Northrend. So that's where I am on the map. Thankfully, he will sell to a horde player, so we're after the punctured pelt. Wonder what that's for. Let's see for something see else. Later. Other items can be bought in Karazan. This is the vendor just before the chess room, so in the upper library. The item you need is the formula enchant ring for striking. Okay, so there are two other items you need before you uh, venture on with the next two parts. And that is... The Proximals, Proximo's Ruddiest, which you can actually buy from Hala in Nagrand, that's Outlands. The Rough Wooden Staff, you can buy from an inscription supplier, so... Um, I just went to the one in Ogrima, but go to the one that's most convenient for you. And then when you have all four items, head on down to the Arathi Highlands on the coast here, and you'll see this little homestead. So what you want to do is come inside the bottom, and you'll notice Grimmy standing right here. Hello, I don't get many visitors out here. You'll have to excuse the mess. So when you come downstairs, there's a note listed on this table to my right. Gimme's list of friends. So let's see what it says. List of friends. First is SN, you always smelt so good. Second is TM, you smelt like burning wood. Third is FD, though you smelt like fell. Last is OM, I hated that fishy smell. So now I think what you have to do is put on these four items, which any tailor can make. Now let's see if anything else happens. It's me, your friend. Got any secrets to tell me about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm. Oh, list of enemies on this other table. You flaunted your virility, the red was never to my liking. Though I wanted to slap you, I always found you striking. You always thought you knew what was best, but not everyone likes greens. Though I waved your way, I pictured your shredded hide in my dreams. Your bread was bad, you diseased lout. It made me sick, I would... <laughs> Cheerily beat you with a stick. Last you, I'm not even going to think of a rhyme for you, mugs. I will dance on your grave. You are uniquely terrible. Okay. So I think what you have to do now is go and visit Grimmy's enemies, and that's why you need the other four items that I was talking about, which are the punctured pelt, the rough wooden staff, Proximo's ruddius, and the formula for striking. So off we go. So the first enemy is in Twilight Highlands in the Vermilion Redoubt area. By this big tree, you'll find the first guy. So this guy, we have to moat him by slapping him. So the next one can be found in Desolus, right in the middle of the Carnum's Glade, which I guess we're going to moat Carnum next with a wave. Okay, so two more. The third one can be found at the Argent Stand in Zoldrak. So this guy we have to cheer. Woohoo! <laughs> so
so the last guy should be in this building here, right at the bottom, shadow pan fallback. When I saw the name, I thought I would actually be dancing with the drinking mug. But it turns out it's a NPC, the innkeeper. I have many, so many dance. wares. Many farewells. I can't tell. Was he dancing or not? Looks like he does that anyway. Okay. So now what we have to do is go back to Grimmy. So I'll see you there. So once we come back, he should have some other dialogue. Oh, there we go. I've sent some messages to your enemies. How now? How about those secrets? Oh, that is excellent. Buy it. Still, I uh. Mm. Okay. New recipe over here. A pinch of turmeric and a pound of salt. If it comes out poorly, it's your own fault. Pay attention to the broth and stir, stir, stir. Then add a big handful of boar fur. Ugh. Last you, last you need a little sour. Get the kick with a little gunpowder. All right. So now all I think you have to do is go outside. And go to his little veggie patch. Rotten pumpkin. I think what we're looking for is a potato. Okay, so at 8869, you'll see this rotten potato. And I'm supposed to eat it? Gross. So, what I read you have to do is get 144 stacks of this thing. <laughs> There we go. Now I'm not sure what's with the number 144, but seems to be the magic number. How do I smell? I do too. Okay, now I better put my proper stuff back on. That's better. Click that off. Okay. Well, there you go. That's how you do this latest secret um, sequence, I guess. So for this to happen, you do need to have the Baal secret battle pet. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to interact with any of the items. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I might mog that, actually. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.